So you okay. totally snuck into an yeah. admin session that I was speaking at, yeah. which I was like fine with. To be honest with you, I've said, bring students, bring teachers, and I, I'll actually never say anything in an admin session. I wouldn't say to teachers, wouldn't say to parents, wouldn't say to kids. There's nothing. Well, that's what, good. What that's was your, so you got to kind of see something that you maybe don't do. Did you like, we talked about the school teacher classroom teacher stuff. What was like, what was there a, maybe a takeaway from the session? What was like maybe something surprising? Like what, what kind of like, what do you remember from that? And was there anything that maybe, you know, was weird that you didn't maybe agree? I don't know, whatever. Like what was the takeaway? Yeah, it was a very different experience. I definitely felt like I had snuck in. I mean, everyone there was a principal, a superintendent, right. you know, some kind of big, you know, somebody with a much, yeah. let's just say, higher pay grade. I was, um, I was actually really impressed with how open-minded a lot of the leadership was, because there is a huge disconnect right now between the admin level and the teachers, which I know that we've talked about, like in the comments and stuff. And I know that that's happening kind of everywhere. It's not individual educators, I don't think, but there is this feeling of like the us and the them. Mm -hmm. And so um, I didn't realize how much I had actually bought into that until I sat among all these administrators. And I mean, I, like I said, I have no plans to be an administrator myself. So I'm not like, you know, yeah. trying to join the ranks or anything. Yeah. I was just kind of peeking right. behind the curtain. But um, I, I, it, Listening to the other administrators, I realized that their struggles were actually the same as ours. They felt right. blocked in to a lot of the same red tape, a lot of the same issues, and that they were actually trying to solve those problems. We just maybe at the teacher level were not hearing that they were as much like I didn't realize they were so much on our side. Does that make sense? Like, totally. I kind of thought that they were towing the line and they might believe that we do need to have 10,000, you know like assessments so we can, you know, do all this other stuff, this red tape, but instead they just weren't complaining down to us. They were complaining up and, mm -hmm. or fighting up in their own possible ways. And I was actually kind of taken back by how many administrators were willing to be open and to change things. And I just wondered if there was a way to get like a, a teacher viewpoint, like what's happening there is my question. Like how is the superintendent being so, um, mis, um, misunderstood at the actual teacher level, you know, like what is going on in between there is, was basically my takeaway. Um, because I think we're all on the same page. I think we're all trying to fight the same fight. Right. And in my opinion, we all have kind of the same nemesis, but like, um, we're not aligning. We're just fighting each other a little bit, right. right. Com complaining about each other. I, so I, I think that, um, I, like I, couldn't agree with you more. There, there's actually, there, this is actually quite interesting. I, I remember I was speaking to uh, a district brought me in. Several, I can actually, I'm not going to say the district, but I remember it very specifically. It was in Canada. Mm -hmm. And they had me speak to the teachers in the morning. They had me speak to the admin in the afternoon. And then they had me speak to the parents at night. I'll never forget this. And so I did the exact same talk three times. Okay. Mm -hmm. But just to different groups. Mm -hmm. And so I talked to the teachers and they're like, we love this stuff. This is so what we want to do. It's our administrators, right? They're holding okay. us back. Yeah. So then I talked to the administrators like, oh, we are like so on board with this stuff. Our teachers. <laughs> Guess what the parents said? We're so into this, but our teachers and admin won't let us let our kids do yeah. this stuff. I'm like, yeah. have you have you have you ever talked to each other? Have we ever? Have yeah, ever, like, maybe we just had a conversation with one another because you all yeah. seem to be on the page. But but I think sometimes, to be honest with you, I think sometimes it's really easier to blame other people for us not moving forward. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like it's like, oh, no, I, I would it. totally do this, but no else is doing that, yeah. right? And I mm -hmm. like I, I saw that you know in summer some of the districts I worked at, like our parents. I'm like, I'm a parent. I'm like advocating for this stuff. That I want for my own kids. So you don't say parents because I am a parent. So like maybe ask, maybe have a conversation. I think for me, it's always like, like, you know, I think there is sometimes a misperception. And so that's why I ask questions. That's why I like, I try to challenge some of this stuff. And so, cause I, cause I, I I'm with you. I think we're all kind of on the same team, uh, working together, but sometimes it is a little bit of an easy way out to like, say someone else is holding us back. Mm -hmm. not, not, it's not always true, right? Sometimes it is people like making policies because they are super micromanagers. They want to have control mm -hmm. over everything. But I, I, I actually really appreciate that you shared that because I think 
um, it will be beneficial to, you know, it's kind of cool that you heard that because it is a lot of times I, I think, I think it'd be great. I think those sessions, you shouldn't have to snuck in. I think it should be <laughs> bring in, you know, teachers to get their perspectives on those admin sessions. Right. Like, what did you think of what we're sharing? Right. And then you might go and like, Hey, you know what? I was actually at this admin session. They're not as horrible as we all would say it. Yeah, right. Like, we even said, even right? If, like every superintendent or brought three teachers with them or like, you know, and just with different sets of ears, how does this sound to you? What pops up in your mind? And then, I mean, cause we're the stakeholders we're putting, we're holding it all together. Right. I mean, I really think that we could do a lot more if we were, you know, sharing, which is kind of the whole point of the TikTok thing. I mean, yeah. I've had principals and admin post on there. Like I would love for my teachers to do this. And I'm sure that their teachers thought we'll never be able to do this, you know, like, so well, you know, you know, you know, Abby, if I was, if I was a principal right now, I would, you know what I'd be doing with your stuff. I'd be like, Hey, saw this awesome video from, uh, Abby, check it out. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say do this. Here it is. And yeah. then me actually sharing with you is kind of like, uh, saying, you know, like, go for I'm, it. I'm kind of, I'm kind of behind this. Like we should be trying some of this stuff.